Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. Now, I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. First and ten. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it does not pay off, does it? Yeah, it chuck. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and seven. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Get him out. Get him out. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and the punter is warming up. Gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The kick is good. impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> And 
It's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Crazy train and murdered that guy. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. And it's first and ten. for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down and it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. They want more points, so they're going for two. Blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little pile? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he's running like a moose right now. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the duck. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Ah, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, that's huge. Looks like it comes to defense.
run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. A man hit jars, the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down to nine. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what that? It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, dig it in you. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. 
When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! Second down in a very lot. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven baked porta john in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Third down and three. <laughs> I don't understand why they're going for it, Grim. This seems like the situation where they should always... Oh. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. Ah. Wow, a run on fourth didn't work out. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Really, what counts at the end of the day, right? A nice run there for eight yards. I've never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants to stomp all over his opponent. I want to take a beast boost injection. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. more than the QB would like. Oh, this guy just loves... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. 
for? I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? <laughs> is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a... He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Destruction in his path. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Third down and six. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice, you've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The drive was stalled and here comes the field goal attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but, you know, not that 
guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. This guy's a brick shithouse. And then Cats will give them a first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And, it. and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And another interception. This quarterback, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. target more often under two minutes a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win this is gonna be one hell of a kick if he can make it what a shame it's still just a field goal it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell <laughs> The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strip tea show, where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and six.
second down and a lot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and the punter is warming up. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 70. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. First down and six. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and six. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and six. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when he got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. Man, this coach must have, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim! It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. He is automatic! Nice! Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! That's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. The Motor City Maniacs get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...